Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Gordon here of G17 Collectibles. And today's video is on Hot Toys brand new release this week, Cable. And I'm going to bring you what I consider to be somewhat of an unpopular opinion today. In that, I think this is astonishing. It's a fantastic figure. It is great. But it doesn't match everybody in the community. Now, there's been some backlash on this figure since it was released. There's been lots of opinions and lots of videos brought up in that Hot Toys have missed the mark. I don't agree. And let me show you why I don't agree and why perhaps the negative opinions and the negative comments that are coming out are maybe a bit premature. So, let's jump out and go to the Hot Toys page and we'll take a look at the blogger pictures. Now I've been doing this for a long time, collecting that is. And if I've learned one thing, it is do not always look at the blogger pictures and believe that that is what you're actually getting. Blogger pictures or the initial release pictures are always taken in a particular way. And you've got to remember that these blogger pictures, yet yeah, they're, they're, they're showing the figure off, they get the figures first, they try and pose them, they try and show the figure off in the best light. But depending on the angle, depending on the light, and depending on how they put that figure together, it will show you different things about that figure that perhaps can be interpreted in the wrong fashion. And I think this is completely what's happened for Hot Toys Cable. I think it's been interpreted in the wrong way. Pictures are very flat. Pictures are wash out details. And there's been a number of times where people have had a bad reaction to a figure released, but yet when it, they get it in hand and they start seeing videos, opinions start to change. So if anything, don't always go with your first initial gut reaction. Take some time, have a think about it, wait until we've seen the figure in hand, then we can all form an opinion. But I've looked at these blogger pictures and I'll be honest, I can see why people have, 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 have had the reaction they had. But for me, studying these pictures and having a look at them, I'm blown away. I think it's a great figure. And I love the head sculpt. I love the paint app. And it is so close to the prototype. It really is. And I think that's a lot of times where people have went, oh, it's not the prototype. I disagree. I think it's darn close to the prototype um, in every way. Um, and it's all about the angle and the perception of these photographs that have come out in the last week as to why Cable's getting a bad rap. Let's have a fly through the, the blogger photographs and I'll perhaps show you why I think this figure is fantastic. And I cannot wait to get this one. So here's the blogger photographs. And yet I can see sometimes... In the photographs, the details are washed out. Depending on the angle, depending on what we're looking at, it can look a bit thin. It's not as bulky as maybe people think it should be. And the sculpt is perhaps a bit soft. But I disagree. If we actually take each photograph and zoom in, you'll start to see the incredible detail, the likeness and the paint apps that are going on on this head sculpt. And I think the head sculpt is very, very close to the prototype. So let me flick over to the sideshow photographs on that prototype, and we'll take a look at that head sculpt. Now this is what I believe to be the prototype head sculpt. This is the, the when the Hot Toys figure was announced, say two years ago, that's what we thought we were getting, and we've got an open mouth. It's very detailed, it looks great, it looks as if it's a screen capture image direct from the film. And let's flip back now to the blogger pictures. This one, it looks very soft. It looks, ve it looks very, um, the lighting isn't quite right. And it doesn't necessarily carry the full lightness of Josh Brolin. But when we start to zoom in on the picture, we see more and more detail coming out. And I'm going to demonstrate this in later pictures as well. The open mouth sculpt, I'm not keen on, I prefer closed mouth head sculpts. They did it with the Luke Skywalker and I think it would have been better if they just closed them lips. And I'm not sure that works on Cable as well, but it does. It suits him more because he has that kind of growl. 
Um, and I think that's what Hot Toys, Hot Toys are trying to capture here. It's that grill that Cable has. So, you know, open mouth sculpt, I get it on this figure. But look at the detail. You can see details starting to come out the more we zoom into these photographs. Now let's move on. Wow. This is one of the things I think is a major triumph for this figure. Um, and it's a shame that the figure can't be displayed in multiple ways unless you have multiple figures. And I'm actually thinking of getting maybe two. I love the arm. I love the chest. I love the mechanical detail that's going on here and the integration that's happening between the mechanical elements and the human elements. And it's going all the way up to the neck and all the way across the chest. Now the detail in this is fantastic. If you actually zoom in and take a quick look, you know, that to me, the, the detail that's going on, the paintwork that's going on, the black washes that's going on, and the integration to the skin, I just think it's glorious. It looks tremendous. And if we look at that head sculpt again, if we try and zoom in as far as we can, we can see some of these paint apps that are starting to come out. Um, and in the later photographs, it shows it off a lot better. There is far more detail than the pictures tell initially. This one, perhaps, you know, you've got a number of elements, a number of details here, such as the, the muscular forearm, which I think is really, really good. And it is a jointed arm rather than seamless. And that allows better posability. But this photograph doesn't paint the, the figure in the best of lights because the figure does a look a little bit thin. It doesn't have the same bulk. It doesn't have the same width. And the neck looks as if it should be maybe wider than what it actually is. So this picture isn't great, but if we go on to more photographs, I think this is giving us um, a bit of a, a different view, which isn't perhaps reflective of the actual figure itself. Let's look at this one. This one is a great shot of the head sculpt. And initially, this head sculpt looks okay. But if we start to zoom in, we can see that head sculpt detail is really starting to pop now. You can see you've got the stubble. You've got skin detail and textures. You've got a little bit of dirt. You've got some freckles. You've got some skin blemishes. And this is now starting to look like Josh Brolin. It's starting to show off the detail. Even the hairline looks fantastic. It's not just a straight line. You can see there's bits in here that are integrated into the sculpt and it's so well painted. If we zoom out, you're losing a little bit of that detail. Let's look at this one. Head sculpt, hmm, it's a bit ropey. But again, zoom in and you start to see Josh Brolin in there. The bottom of the face looks a bit thin, but that's because of the angle of the photograph. It's got nothing to do with the actual sculpt. Moving on, ah, Again, we see that mechanical arm and chest detail. Now this, it's just glorious. I think this is a triumph from Hot Toys. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this one in hand because remember, we're looking at a flat picture. This isn't a video, it's not 3D. We can't, until you get something in hand, you don't appreciate the level of detail uh, and the angles and the shapes um, that are going on in this. But still, that to me looks incredible. Um, and I'm really, really, really chuffed that Hot Toys have went to this uh, effort put on the figure. Here's another image of the head sculpt. And again, if we zoom in, detail, the shape of that cheekbone and the uh, the brow, the scar, the mouth, the, the, the cheeks, the jawline. Tell me that does not look like Josh Brolin now. Tell me that that is not a fantastic head sculpt. Because I think it looks amazing. Here's another one with the, the, a great pose. That's a, a fantastic pose. Great shot with the shield. And again, we'll just zoom in to see some of those details. Again, that scar it looks, looks, it just looks triumphant to me. Um, let's have a look at the next picture. Again, this one, perhaps the neck's a bit on the thin side. If we start to zoom in, you can see it's the angle of the photograph. The head's twisted, the body's twisted. You do have the, the back of the neck with a bit of flare there. That gun, wow, 
the details in that rifle. Remember, the rifle was is almost brand new. It was brand new components. It was built by by Cable at the, at, when he arrived in the the period um, time zone. Uh, it doesn't need too much battle damage. It doesn't need too much wear. It doesn't need too much washes. It just has a very light um, dry brushing of silver across it, which I think is is perfect. Uh, details are all correct. It's a super duper bit of kit. Next picture. I mean, that, that to me looks as if it's something that's came straight out of the, uh, the movie. It looks like a movie still. It really does. Again, if we zoom in, you can see that muscular forearm. You can see that sculpt. The lighting on this one is far better. Um, it's not as, as, as yellow. It's got a nice uh, effect on it. And you can see just the lines, the wrinkles in that head sculpt. They're all there. They are all, all there. Again, there's that glorious chest and arm again. Let's have a little bit of a zoom in on this one. Tell me that's not Josh Brolin. I'll, I'll keep saying it. Tell me that is not Josh Brolin. It, it is. Could not be closer. Could not be closer. And remember, guys, these are, these are, these are plastic toys. We're, we're not, we're not going silicon here. We're not going rooted hair here. We've got sculpted plastic, which is mass produced, and mass painted. Look at the level of detail on that face. Come on. What a figure. What a sculpt. I, I honestly think this is up there with Hot Toys best. I really do. Another picture. Another one. Again, the, the accessories, the detail, that arm. Absolutely fantastic. It's got a light up eye, which isn't too bright. Wish it was a bit brighter. But again, wait till we got it in hand, because it might actually look pretty bright in hand. There's a picture of that in the back of that neck. How good does that look? Look at the skin and the tones and the paint apps that's going on in that skin. And then the shaved head detail. It looks as if it's got a lot of texture about it. It's got some greys in there. It's got some, some blacks. You've got the, the same coloration coming down the side of the jaw. Um, yeah. Knocked it out the park, as they would say. So yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of pictures you can flick through them yourself. Some of the pictures, yeah, initially you think, oh, it doesn't it's just the salt the, uh, the sculpt's a bit soft. It's not as thick as it should be. It's not as big as it should be. Take a minute and go through the photographs and zoom in. That's all I would say. This is honestly how I think I'm going to display my figure. This is the pose that I want. That to me is glorious. It just looks like cable. There is nothing wrong with that at all. The level of detail that's on this figure is incredible. I'm loving it. So yeah, unpopular opinion. Perhaps I've changed your mind a little bit, but I think this is a triumph from Hot Toys. Everything about it, I really like. I really, really, really like it. From the accessories, to the clothing, to the tailoring, to the sculpt work, to the paint apps. And like I said in the video, I might just get two. One where I can display it fully clothed, battle ready, and another where I can display it with this level of detail from the mechanical components, because I don't think that should really be hidden. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my opinion on Hot Toys Cable. I'm going to go off right now and try and find one for a good price, get it ordered, and get it in hopefully this week or next. So, Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Hopefully it's been one that perhaps either matches your opinion and that is a fantastic figure or perhaps you've maybe changed your mind slightly. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more coming up. If you've liked what you've seen today, please do give me the likes. It's, uh, it's very much appreciated. And until the next time, take care.